Hi friends, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. Welcome back to another What is Coming to VOD this month. This list is designated for what's coming to VOD, meaning video on demand. So this means everything that you're able to stream safely from home. This does not include big blockbusters that go to the cinema. And of course, these dates vary via country, but it's pretty universal, especially if you have a VPN. We have a lot to get through today and we are going to go through in chronological order. I've also put everything down in the description as requested. So if you do enjoy these videos and find them helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it somewhere online. It really helps me out. And one last thing, I did want to thank everyone so much for the comments on Violent Night with my little story at the start. Um, I really was touched by all of your comments wishing me well, so thank you so much for that. I am doing a little bit better, but time will tell. But just like Violent Night, there are a few Christmas horror movies on this list, so I'm very excited to get into it. But let's start somewhere that's not so Christmassy, but it is based in Greek mythology. The first movie on my list is A Wounded Fawn. A Wounded Fawn hits Shudder on the first, so it's ready to go. Inspired by surrealist art and Greek mythology, the story follows Meredith, a local museum curator who is dipping her toe back into the dating pool, only to be targeted by a man with ulterior motives. And when he invites her to a romantic getaway, it soon becomes a terrifying game of cat and mouse, where Meredith must reason with a monster. Again, this one is already out. It hit Shutter on the 1st of December. This next one is a really surprising entry because no one is talking about it. And the fact that it's A24 and being released in such a strange way on VOD at the same time is super rare. The Eternal Daughter is a ghost story described as a light thriller drama mystery. The film is about a middle-aged daughter and her elderly mother who must confront Longberry secrets when they return to their former family home. A once grand manor, it has now become a nearly vacant hotel brimming with mystery. The whimsical A24 haunting stars Tilda Swinton and looks slow but hypnotized. And in odd A24 fashion, this film will be released in select cinemas and on VOD at the same time on rental platforms. This will be released on the 2nd of December, so it's basically already out. If you do check it out, let me know what you think. Next, we have Die Influencer. This one hits VOD platforms on the 6th of December. The film is about a kidnapped cheerleader who is forced to jump through social media challenges for her captor. But what is the goal of this torture? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried about where this one is going, but we'll have to wait until the 6th to find out. Again, if you dare to watch this one, report back. But the next one I am super excited about, although pregnancy horror is a little bit overdone. This one stars Melissa Berea from The New Scream. I hope I pronounced her last name correctly. The supernatural horror thriller is about Julie Rivers, a woman who after years of struggling to start a family is pregnant and moving into a new home with her husband as they embrace a fresh start. But upon being ordered into mandatory bed rest, Julie starts to think that someone is in her house. As she slowly unravels, she must find out if her house is haunted or if it's all in her head. This one will hit Tubi on the 7th. Any fans of Christmas horror? Here we go. Christmas Bloody Christmas takes place on Christmas Eve where record store owner Tori is ready to finish work and get festive. But her plans are interrupted by a robotic Santa Claus. Yep, that's right. Who goes completely haywire and begins a rampant killing spree through the neon drenched snowscape. Against a backdrop of drugs, sex, metal and violence, Tori is now in a bloody battle for survival against Santa himself. Of course, I expect this one just to be popcorn horror, but with the neon atmosphere, it does look pretty appealing. This one hits Shudder on the 9th. Originally titled as Hashtag Float, Float is about a vlogger and her crew that embark on an annual river float to commemorate an incident which scarred the group. But when they arrive early, they are plunged into a life and death battle with a strange local and a sinister entity. Now they're forced to face their own fears to survive. What an incredibly strange premise. This one hits digital and limited cinemas on the 9th of December. This is the one that I'm really interested about. Have you heard of it? It's called The Apology. Starring Anna Gunn, who many of you may know from Breaking Bad, The Apology is about a recovering alcoholic who is preparing to host her family's Christmas celebration 20 years after an event devastated her life. But as the evening begins, a familiar face arrives bearing nostalgia 
magic gifts and a heavy secret. Soon she finds herself caught in between reason and ruthless instinct. Trapped together in a dangerous storm, the battle of wits escalates into a violent game of revenge. This one is a Shudder original and it hits the platform on the 16th. Another Christmas one for you, The Christmas Tapes, is a Christmas themed horror comedy anthology with the tagline, The Gift That Keeps Killing. I love that. The film starts at a family movie night on Christmas Eve. Why do they always start on Christmas Eve? That is interrupted by a stranger who insists on making the next classic Christmas movie himself. Why am I adding this to the list? Well, because it stars none other than Greg Sestero from The Room and The Disaster Artist. So fans of that kind of style of movie, this is a real Christmas treat. The Christmas tapes will be in select cinemas and on VOD from the 16th of December. Another one that was in cinemas for a limited run, but not in all countries, is The Nanny, which hits prime on the 16th. I'm very excited to check this one out because it was not planned in my country. The film follows immigrant nanny Aisha who is piecing together a new life in New York City while caring for the child of an Upper East Side family. But after dramatic events, she is forced to confront a dark truth that could shatter her dreams of a fresh start. This film has had some positive reviews and I'm keen to check this one out on Prime from the 16th. Alice in Borderland is back and I know a lot of you were fans of this Japanese action mystery thriller. The premise involves a group of bored delinquents delinquents who are transported to a parallel dimension as part of a survival game. Season 2 unlocking the next stage. Good news, all 8 episodes hit Netflix at the same time, which I love when they do this, and that will be on December the 22nd. Fans of the first, I am happy to announce that Scare Package is back for part 2, and it's called Rad Chad's Revenge. I am not sure about that title. The comedy horror is a sequel to the 2019 anthology film. This one takes place when horror guru Rad Chad's funeral turns into an elaborate series of death traps where the guests must band together to survive. Scare Package 2 hits Shudder on the 22nd. Mystery thriller comedy Glass Onion hits Netflix on the 23rd after a short run at the cinemas. I'm not gonna lie, this sequel to Knives Out, even though it's billed as a thriller, is a lot less thrilling than the original. It's a little bit more tongue-in-cheek, but it's still a really fun mystery film. Although predictable at times, the all-star cast includes Edward Norton, who is always a delight and well worth the watch. This one is particularly awesome if you have loved ones who do not enjoy other entries on this list. It's a little bit more tame. Here's an exciting one with a killer cast. With a limited cinema run and then heading right to Netflix, White Noise is a comedy drama horror that dramatizes a contemporary American family's attempt to deal with the mundane conflicts of everyday life while grappling with the universal mysteries of love, death, and the possibility of happiness in an uncertain world. Wow, that is a vague but very interesting blurb. The film stars Adam Driver, Rafi Cassidy, Greta Gerwig, Don Cheadle, and Andre 3000. White Noise had its world premiere at the Venice Film Festival and was released in select cinemas in late November, but will finally head to Netflix on the 30th of December, just in time for the 2022 cutoff. And that's what I have for you this month. If there's anything that I've left off that you are interested in, please drop it below. I would love to check it out and add it to my watch list. Thank you again for being here. And if you do like these videos, make sure to subscribe because I do them every single month, letting you know what to watch. And as I do here on this channel, giving you recommendations and doing it spoiler free. My aim is to always excite you about horror and thriller, never to spoil the good parts. Although sometimes I do in spoiler videos, deep dives. I'll have some really cool content coming up next week. You'll want to stick around because I will be giving you a long, perhaps the longest list on YouTube for 2022 horror movies. If you know what I mean, I did the same last year. It's coming back. It's epic. Get ready. So make sure you turn on your notifications and I will see you then. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye friends.